titanic battle in Ulster. This has all the ingredients for a World Cup classic. It was all black and magic. The dignity returns to a World Cup final once again. New Zealand are a fantastic team and they've, they've proved that time and time again and have always been up there as one of the best teams in women's rugby. And I've always been in the World Cup finals ever since I've been playing in the World Cup stage. If we give them space and give them time with ball in hand, then they can be really dangerous and threatening. Wonderful play from the New Zealand backline. They've got a lot of skill in their team. They've got a lot of grunt. Look at the power surge from England. We know when we get to the, to the business end, it's going to be an 80-minute game, and we need people to stay patient, stay on task, and do the job that they're asked to do. With England, you've just got to make sure that you shut them down early. For the Black Friends, we just got to make sure that we play our game. It's absolutely key that whenever someone's given the nod to go onto that pitch, they do their job and they add to the team. It's an all new front row coming in, the cavalry on. It's about the here and now, but the last World Cups, you know, that's done and gone. And it's about this 2017 World Cup. What's gone is gone. Not past results, not past victories, not past losses. We're, we're very much about what this team can do this year, and that is winning the trophy. Singing a national anthem, going out there to do the haka, a heavy trophy for me to lift, because I'll be lifting it with all the other girls that have played alongside me. So we can't wait to get out there on Saturday night. <laughs>